Greetings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for those who just joining us, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kalia, the post op queen and certified post op care specialist at iMagic International Beauty Spa in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're discussing now you decide to get cosmetic surgery. What next? So let's get into it. So you finally decided to get cosmetic surgery. Yay! Getting cosmetic surgery is a huge deal. And choosing the best doctor, the best surgeon could be a bit stressful. So I'm going to give you some tips that can help you choose the perfect doctor and to make sure that you have the best results possible. Okay? So let's go. Number one, you must research your surgeon. My suggestion is for you to have at least four to five surgeons on your list, okay? You wanna make sure that whatever procedure that you get, that that surgeon is a specialist that specializes in that particular surgery. For instance, you may have a friend or a cousin that got her a breast augmentation and her doctor specializes in breast augmentation, but he also does lipo. You may have another doctor that specializes in lipo 360 and BBL, but he does rhinoplasty every now and then. You wanna get someone who specializes in that procedure that you want to have, okay? You also want to make sure that your surgeon is board certified. What is board certified? Glad you asked. Board certified is having satisfied the requirements for board certification. That's very important because you have some dermatologists that can do certain surgical procedures. You may also have a doctor that, a surgeon that works in the hospital that can do certain surgical procedures. You wanna make sure that your surgeon is board certified, okay? Now, you may run across some surgeons that are double board certified. Okay, okay, I'm getting confused. What is double board certified? And does double board certified mean better than board certified? I'm glad you asked. Board certified and double board certified, that's all up to you. I suggest to find you a surgeon that is at least board certified and that has great, amazing results. That's all that matters. Double board certifies just like the cherry on top of the Sunday. They went through a little bit more rigorous training to go through and get that extra certification. Okay? At the end of the day, you must do your homework. Period. Period. Don't go off with your friend or her cousin or her coworker did. Do your own research so that going into surgery and paying your money, you feel comfortable. Having cosmetic surgery is a life changing thing. So you want to make sure that it's a great life changing. Not like, oh my God, why did I get this? I don't like my results. Well, I'm going to have a second revision. No, you want to go in the first time saying that this is my only and my last time. Unless you want to get something else done. Okay? In addition, board cert doctors that are double board certified, most of them have hospital admitting practices. That means that they can do your surgery inside of a hospital. Most doctors that are board certified, they have their own facility. Now, some doctors that are double board certified, they work out of their offices, they have their own treatment centers, their own surgery rooms. One is not better or less qualified than the other. It's up to you as what your personal preference is. But once again, beauties, do your research. Do your research period do your homework don't go off of what someone else has or on their results because their results may not look the same on you okay now let's use myself as an example I want to get lipo 360 I'm going to search out the best doctors that perform lipo 360 I want to see clients that look like me okay so let's just say for this video I'm 175 I'm about 5'9", so I'm not going to continue to look at girls that are 5'2", 5'4", 5'6". I want to look at someone who has a make 
buildup of myself. I want to look for someone who is at least 5'7 and weigh at least 170 pounds, maybe 165 to 200 pounds. I want to look for someone who has the issues that I have, and then I want to see their after results. That is what's going to make me say, you know what, that's the surgeon I'm choosing. So look for someone who has the BMI that you do, the height, the weight, the buildup. That's going to give you a better representation of their work and how your results will turn. Okay, Kalia, here you go with all these terms. What is BMI? Body Mass Index. That's a big thing to surgeons. That's what they base on if you are eligible to get surgery, if you need to lose weight, or if this is just not for you right now. Some of my beauties have to lose weight before they have surgery, and that's fine. You want a surgeon to be upfront with you and not sugarcoat things. Number one, you will have better results if you go in and you lose weight. And number two, it's a health issue. You want to wake up after surgery to enjoy your nice body, okay? So make sure that you look at pictures that represent you and the body type and the issues that you have and that you want to fix so that you walk out of there and you look and blah, 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 boom, and not like, oh, God, did I really just pay for this? I don't like my results, okay? The next tip. Now, my next tip is you also want to ask your surgeon what is their revision policy. That's important because some surgeons who stand by their work 100% they will tell you, if you don't like the results, we will do a complimentary no charge revision on you. Now, you will have to pay sometimes for the anesthesia cost and maybe for the OR, but the overall cost, you won't have to um, pay that up front. But ask them what's their revision policy. That's important. Some doctors don't offer you a revision policy and some doctors do. So find out what that policy is. Hopefully, you never have to use it, but it's good just in case, okay? Now, the next thing, local versus general anesthesia. Most doctors, when you're getting cosmetic surgery, they put you under. General anesthesia is when they put you under when you're sedated, you're asleep. You don't know what's going on. And when you wake up, you boom, you look great. And some doctors are using local anesthesia. They're doing your surgery, and while they're doing it, you're up, you're awake, you're conscious of what's going on. Some doctors even have you to stand up, turn around, look at your butt and say, do you like it? Oh no, I need some more fat. Well, lay back down and they'll put more in you. So find out what's best for you. Some people are afraid of getting cosmetic surgery. They've never had it because that purpose, they don't wanna go under. You don't have to go under. There's always an alternative. With technology, things are always changing every six months. So you have local and you have general. Those are two things that I want you to add into your research to see which best suits you. Some people who may have, uh, may be anemic. That may be a better solution local than going under. I have some clients that have been denied from two surgeons because they had a clotting factor. Their blood didn't clot properly. So the doctors who do general anesthesia turn them down. So just find out. Now, if you are anemic, if you have low blood, or if you have an issue with your blood, like your blood doesn't properly um, clot like it should, then make sure that you see a hematologist at least three months before your procedure. That's very important. You want to get the clearance of a hematologist. What is a hematologist? It's a doctor that specializes in blood. Any kind of normal blood, abnormal blood, blood disorders, that hematologist will clear you or deny you for getting surgery. It's best to be safe than sorry. Now, if you have low blood, there are supplements that you can take to boost your blood up. Also, some girls like to go out of state for surgery. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to make sure that if you do go out of state, that you're staying at a hotel, or Airbnb, or a recovery house that's within five to 10 minutes of that surgeon's office. You also wanna make sure that if you are going out of state, that you get your blood work done, that you send it in with enough time for the doctor and the anesthesiologist to look over your paperwork. 
because I've also had a beauty here at iMagic International that packed up her bags, she flew down south to Miami, and she was on the table, ready to get snatched. Her doctor cleared her for surgery, but when the anesthesiologist got in there and started reviewing her paperwork, he was like, no, we're not going to be able to do this. She was heartbroken, and I was too, because I was excited for her. She was devastated. She was like, well, wait a minute, my doctor cleared me for surgery. The anesthesiologist said, yes, your doctor cleared you, but I didn't clear you. So you want to make sure that if you're going out of state, that the doctor and the anesthesiologist approve you for surgery. So your doctor will say, yes, we can do it, but nothing moves in surgery unless that anesthesiologist signs off on it, unless you're getting local. So make sure that you do your blood work in time and you send it off. And then find out what their refund policy is because this particular beauty, she had an issue. They didn't want to give her money back, but she was smart and she read the fine line. And thankfully, she received all her money. So those are the few tips that we have in helping you to decide on the best cosmetic surgeon for you to get so that you feel comfortable, you feel at ease, and that you're going to know that when you come out there, you're going to be snatched, okay? And you're going to look good. Another tip that I would give you is if you can plan for your procedure in the fall or the winter months so that you'll have time to do your post-op care and get that nice hot spring summer bod because you're going to have to wear that faja. The faja is, some people say it's uncomfortable and it's hot, but if you have to wear it, you need to do it in the fall and the summer months. Well, beauties, that's all I have for today. I hope this video has been informative. It has helped you. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button, okay? Give this video a thumbs up, share it, and turn your notifications on if you haven't already done so. If you have questions about this video or anything that I mentioned in here, please drop a comment below. You can also catch us and slide in our DM on Instagram. We're iMagic Intel. That's E-Y-E-M-A-G-I-C-I-N-T-L. Hit us up with any questions that you have. Also, if you are in the Metro Atlanta area and you would love an awesome post-op care session, then check the link below for our website. And if you're a first-time beauty, we're giving you $10 off your first post-op care session. Have a great day, happy post-op, and wink you later.